Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. It is officially a good morning. I got up today and I was feeling a little tired, but South Korea won against Portugal and that's crazy because Portugal is very, very good, but everything worked out in South Korea's favor. So now we're advancing to the top 16, the knockout rounds. I'm so excited um, to celebrate. We got some Korean chickens and I'm really, really hungry. So we're probably gonna eat that. And then I have my psychology appointment just to make sure that everything going on here is okay and all my pain's not impacting me and stuff like that. I'm honestly not doing much. So after that, I'm just gonna go to work and that's it. But I'm so happy. Okay, so we ordered from CM Chicken. This is the red hot pepper tikkurak. This is snow onion and it comes with like an onion, applesauce, raw onion, and then we got radish with it because radish you always need with the chicken. But yeah, this is what it looks like and we got it from the one in Maryland. Okay, so I had my lunch. I had my psych session. It went so well. It was very productive. And before I headed to work, I wanted to share some things that my psychologist said that were really relatable to me so maybe we can help some of you. Um, first, with emotions, you do not have to be very black and white with them. You do not either like ignore and suppress them or completely sulk in them. There's a nice middle ground where you can learn to work through them but still be productive and make sure that you use those lessons in your future. So not just completely throwing them to the back of your head or just completely not being able to get over it. The second thing he said was that thankfulness and gratitude is a very, very powerful drug. And what he meant by that is, yes, positivity is great. And in dark, heavy situations, positivity is a great way to turn that thing around and to change your mindset. But oftentimes, it's very difficult to just straight up be positive and have no kind of foundation from it to be so positive but when you're thankful and gratitude and find the small things that make you feel that way that builds up exceedingly and I've experienced that so much like for example my long hospital stay was characterized by confusion anxiety fear and pain right and obviously I'm not going to throw this back in my head because they are all emotions that I have to deal with and I have to learn to work through but I do not sulk in them within those dark moments I had moments of extreme gratitude like I said to my nurses, technicians, my parents, family, doctors, all those people. And once I started focusing on all those positive memories and all that sense of gratitude, that is what was characterizing my whole experience. It was no longer fear and sadness. It was more of thankfulness, positivity, love, kindness, and caring sensation. So I just wanted to share that with all of you. I am late to work and I have like no gas. So I'm going to run to work. After work, I need to get gas and then I'm going to come back home. Alrighty, I'm off work now. Okay, can you even see me? I, I don't know. Um, I'm a sweaty mess. It was kind of busy today and it was my first appointment with a dog that was put to sleep. Um, it was kind of sad, but the owner was super sweet. She had been alive for 16 healthy years and so she thought it was time to say goodbye. So I very much respect that decision. Um, I'm just a little worried because I hear that during the holidays a lot more people put their pets to sleep because they get new ones and they're ready to start fresh but I hope there aren't too many because it's so sad and it definitely is difficult to see um, when I passed by that dog that was put down and she was just resting in her room it it was worse for me than when I worked in an emergency room and I had to see so many more horrible incidents I don't know what it is just animals are such a pure soul and it just really gets to me, but I only have 16 miles left on my car and I'm still not gonna go to the gas station because it's late and I'm hungry. I'm probably gonna stop by tomorrow, but I'm just, wow. I just am kind of sad. Um, I'm glad that she had a happy life though. So I'm gonna head home real quick and eat some food. I am so hungry, but first washing our hands. I have been so hungry since like, Let's see, like five o'clock. And the funny thing is, I don't even eat that much and I can't eat that much. It's not that I don't try to, but I get hungry really, really quickly. But, look what my mom made for dinner. This is called kimbap. It's not sushi, it's kimbap. These are traditional Korean rolls and a lot of people do mistake them for sushi, but they're different. But anyways, I was gonna have this, but I don't wanna just have that. And this goes really well with this dish called takoki. It's like spicy rice cake. So I'm gonna see if we have some pre-made packages from Wote, which is the Korean Mart. 
I don't know where it is. I gotta call my mom. I feel like a baby sometimes. Alright, let's read the instructions. Rinse rice cakes in cold water. Add 250 milliliters of water. I feel like so much of this channel is going to become about food and I have no issues with that. So as you can see, it comes like a little plastic container. This is the rice cake. The, these are all like the veggies. And then this is the sauce. So, first things first. I'm gonna get a, a bowl, fill it with water. I usually do it with cold water. Alright, a little bit should be enough. And then I'm going to cut this and put the rice cakes in it. Basically, the reason why we do this is usually um, these packs are refrigerated or frozen. And the water um, helps you to kind of like loosen up the rice cakes, especially if they're frozen. For now, for this one, um, I think my mom refrigerated it because she was going to make it soon. And I told her I was going to have it tonight, so she was happy about that. I'm just going to separate them a little bit one by one. This one's not separating. All right. That separated, let that sit for a little bit and I'm gonna get some water. Got the water, I'm gonna put it out of foil. Actually, do I let it boil? Let's see, if they tell you everything. Oh, you add everything before it boils. So let's do that then. Sounds easy enough. Veggies in. And I'll show you what it looks like once I put everything in. Honestly, this is not the healthiest choice for dinner. But you know, I worked hard, so I think I deserve something a little extra today. And you know, life is about eating the food you enjoy. <laughs> I'm in this like treat yourself era of my life, so we are gonna go ahead. I like to squeeze all the extra sauce out. Now I drained all the water from the rice cake and I'm just gonna add it to this pot. Oh, I'm so excited, I'm so hungry. And then I'm gonna just use these chops that she has out because I don't wanna make extra dishes. So I'm gonna let that simmer. So that's what it's looking at right now. It looks very watery, but it's gonna get thicker. And um, this whole like rice cake thing, it's not soup. It's like a, what's the thing that's close to it? I don't know. It's just like a nice thick sauce with rice cakes. And it usually has some like fish cake in it too. We're not getting all that fancy today though, because I'm hungry and I just wanna get it over with. But I'm gonna let that simmer and come to a boil so that, you know, it gets thicker. And then once it's done, I'll tell you what my dinner looks like, yay. All right, I couldn't wait long enough, but that's good enough for now. So this is the hoki and then the kimbap. Oh, I'm so excited to eat. Mm -hmm.